forecast. She's going to be doing the weather forecast for the home games for Sycamore and Mason on their scoreboards and different game times. The 730 <laughs> Sycamore 8 o'clock this one. So Allison question is what about this heat the next couple days? Are they going to get relief before football on Friday night? Friday night football is going to be tough because it's still going to be hot. It's still going to be humid. A lot like what we're experiencing right now. There's even the chance for some scattered showers and thunderstorms on Friday night as well. So yet another thing to keep in mind if you are headed out to a football game tomorrow night. Now as we go throughout the weekend, the forecast slowly starts to improve. So by the time we get to next week, everything's going to feel a little bit better outside. So there is some relief on the way. Just got to get there right now. Seeing mostly dry conditions throughout northern Kentucky. Those showers have wrapped up there in Campbell County. We do still have some very heavy downpours over towards southeastern Indiana right now. Areas around Hartford seeing some heavy rainfall. Watch out for some gusty winds with this one. Certainly could see some winds gusting closer to about 30 to 40 miles per hour. On top of that, too, we're talking about healthy, heavy downpours right along 50 just north of Hartford. With that as well comes the potential and the likelihood of cloud to ground lightning. So that's something to keep in mind with any of these thunderstorms going up. Something you'll have to keep in mind tomorrow night too for any of those football games. We've got showers on the lighter side throughout portions of Switzerland County over toward Carroll County as well. We have a little bit of light rainfall there just along the Ohio River right around VV. In addition to that, that heat, we're feeling it all throughout greater Cincinnati. Temperatures at the airport, interestingly enough, have fallen down to about 86 degrees. What I would venture to say is happening here is likely that we are seeing some of the rain cooled air making it all the way from those thunderstorms throughout northern Kentucky and southeastern Indiana, impacting temperatures at the airport. Meanwhile, we have 94 in Hamilton, so north of the loop, you're still feeling that intense heat. 96 in Loveland, 93 in Batavia. Temperatures are sitting around 92 in Mount Oreb. That heat advisory remains throughout the rest of this evening. Not in effect for tomorrow, but it is important to note that tomorrow we do have temperatures reaching back into the mid 90s and the heat indices likely to climb back into the upper 90s, maybe even as warm as about 100 tomorrow afternoon. So still feeling very hot and humid out there tomorrow. The rest of this evening shower chances fade after the sun goes down. We'll be dry overnight with temperatures falling back down into the low 70s by tomorrow morning. Tomorrow afternoon, here we are by about 4.30, 5 o'clock. If you are headed out to a football game or tailgating ahead of time, there's that potential for some scattered activity. Much like what we're seeing right now, any thunderstorm could bring in some cloud to ground lightning, heavy rainfall, and then gusty winds. Temperatures for the rest of tonight staying in the 90s if you're not seeing any rain. So if you're headed out to the Reds game or the Thomas Rat concert, it's going to be warm out there for that. Friday night football forecast temperatures are going to be around 90 for kickoff. Saturday, if you're headed out to the UC game, 86 degrees for kickoff for that one. Showers are possible Saturday as well. Thunderstorms too. Sunday for River Fest, we have the chance for some rainfall south, so most, mostly northern Kentucky. I think we are going to be okay by the time we get to fireworks on Sunday. Labor Day Monday looks pretty good. 83 for a high. Guys? All righty, Allison, you were just chatting about fireworks and the setup is under.